There is a moral case for fossil fuels, and there's a moral case for alternative energies. That, that's the truth, is there's not, there's not a good and bad person. The assumption is that people who are pro-energy transition are anti-oil and gas, and, and that's not true. The truth is, we're all interested in changing the world and making it a better place. But people are just going to have to get comfortable with, here's the energy we have and here's the energy we're, we're, we're reaching for. And, and we get to be a part of that. And I think that's very exciting for everybody. When we asked people in renewables, their number one problem was they had government funding and they were growing at a pace that was like government but not like business. How do you cut any renewables cost in half? That was the first challenge. But if we look at what we've done in shales to lower cost by spending money, we, we made a difference there and suddenly the costs are so low and it's not, it's not naturally intuitive but it is what happened. I think surprisingly the technology mix of things that we do gets really interesting. Because we have material experts, we have data experts, we have controls experts. They don't belong to oil and gas. Those are things that go everywhere. We can machine things, we can make things, we can construct things, we can design things, we can think of different ways to use them and make a complex thing go together on time, on budget, and perform well in the field and be supported. That's, that's really, really unique for very big complex systems and, and we do that. It helps to be in crisis in oil and gas. I mean, it means everyone's mind is open. It, is, it was actually the crisis that needed NOV because they were struggling to make it into a business and the, turning it into a business, industrializing it, is what makes the cost get where we need it so that we can have a lower cost abundant energy. But the world is agreeing, we need something else. And we haven't really, we've been so comfortable with the, the beauty of low cost energy in oil and gas that, that we really didn't try hard enough to go, well, what about improving that? But ultimately the general public just wants our world to get better. We want to be a part of improving it. And, and that's, that's the opportunity and we're uniquely positioned to be a part of that. The, the biggest statements we can make is go get purchase orders and do it. And that's what's been happening is they've been going out and getting business. And uh, we have so many parts now of the company doing more than talking. We power the industry that powers the world. That, that's, that's what we're doing. And as the, as the industry is changing, we're going to be the ones that enable them. I think we'll always talk about it as a family, as a company. We all look back and said, isn't that amazing? Do you remember where we came from? You know, and that's a, that's a good family story, you know, that you made a difference with something.